Tell Me Why. This is a collectible guide for the first chapter in the game. I will be doing one for each of the chapters as they arrive and release. So first up, you'll notice this initial collectible here right in the opening sort of segment where you're in Allison's room, it's right under her bed. You open the little chest, and within you have your first memento, which is one of the goblins. That's right, we got our little collectible here. It's sort of an automatic thing that you get just to kind of introduce the concept of it. And I do suggest getting all of the collectibles because there's a fun little thing towards the end of the game that makes it really quite worthwhile. So this is the second part of the collectible. Again, you're going to find this really, you know, force. you got to kind of do this as you're doing the characters on top of the box. Second part of the goblin. That finishes the first collectible and is the only one like this style. So the next one you'll find underneath the basement of the house underneath in the foundation. And it's to, basically when you're entering it, so I'm actually backtracking here, it'll be on your right hand side before you make this fork in the road. Uh, you see all that kind of cool little stuff they have collected there. So it's back here where the furnace area is. It's it's not too hard to come across. It's just veering off the path to the right off the bat. And you'll notice it lying right here opposite of that wall. Pick it up, little monster thing. Pretty cool. And now we'll move on to the next one, which is a really kind of quick thing. So this one is found in the mother's room, that's the unlock for the door in case you need it in order to get in here. And it's to the right hand side, just sitting down there on the ground, nice and easy to collect. And at the end of the video you'll be able to hear each of the audio reels for the different collectibles that are available too. So next up we're at the general store. So this is a little bit into it. You've been talking, you've been dealing with some stuff, and basically this back room will open. You'll be able to enter it, and you might have to do a bit of chatting and discussion with people before you can get to this point. You're going to see that this is available to be opened, and you'll notice it on the shelf here. Right I'm there is our looking for something that I uh, little friend. They're all little statues, which is kind of a Everything theme thing, collectible-wise, within boy. the game. Yeah, skipping that and just grabbing our little bird there. What's this doing here? So this next one is in the police station towards the end of the game. It's past the kitchen. It's in like the back room area. You have to go through here so you won't miss it. You'll be able to see it as soon as you get to this part. Uh, you have to do it in order to progress. And it's just nestled in the back here behind the desk. Pretty easy selection of collectibles. Again, I'll have next week's available as soon as the episode releases. So again, if you found this helpful, be sure to like the video. And uh, if you have any questions or need further help on getting these collectibles, let me know. Enjoy the end of this where it will show off the audio clip for each of the individual collectibles that were gathered throughout this episode. The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting into mischief, but they have good hearts. The mad hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. He'll chase his prey to the ends of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. The wise princess is a runaway from a far off land. She won't tell anyone what she's running from, because just thinking about it makes her cry. She's friends with all the animals in the forest, and has a kind and generous soul. The pious pelican is the princess's generous friend. She has a magical beak that is always full of food and never empties. The ice king is the lord of the whole forest. He is so powerful that no one dares to challenge his commands. <laughs> 